please welcome to the stage 2017 dance icon and two-time Emmy winner, Travis Wall. Hi, you guys. How's it going? Um, I am here to present the 2018 Role Model Award. And uh, here's a couple words about what a role model is. A role model helps us to inspire, to push ourselves to become the very best we can be. There's an example of integrity, optimism, hope, and determination. Male, female, old or young, in the dance community, we turn to each other to find inspiration. For me, I didn't have very far to look because my role model, right, role model is my mom, actually. And anybody that's come in contact with her knows one thing about her, and that woman leads her life with passion. And anybody that has come in contact as far as students, um, all my brothers, everything she's done for us and all, all the kids across the United States that take her class at Nouveau and all the traveling studios, this woman literally eats, breathes, and sleeps dance. I'm gonna tell you a little funny story because I just finished drying my eyes out with all the checks being handed out stage. I'm sure you guys did, but my mom's about to roll out here in a wheelchair, okay? The last, and she's just had like a little leg injury. She's fine, she'll be fine. She'll be, I call her turbo because she has to watch out. Like literally everybody like has to move out of her way. She moves faster now than she has in like 30 years, so be careful. The last time she was in mobile, I was probably about like 15. Um, I was in a dance room, and my mom's always told me to lead by example. And that's the, how to be a role model is uh, just, you know, make sure that you are treating others the, the way you want to be treated, acting the way others want to be treated. And I started smout, like, smart mouthing her in class once. And she was like, hey, you say one more thing, I'm going to pop you in the mouth. And I was like, yeah, like you can catch me, because she was on her scooter. So she starts chasing me around on her scooter, and I like, ah! freak out, and I like, run outside the door. I wait like 15 minutes in the dance room. Finally, like, I like open the door and I like see like, is the coast clear? She's literally hiding behind the door, ready to pop me in the back of my head. I like, the girls are like, yeah, coast is clear. I come in, pop. So that was my lesson learned, to like never disrespect your mother in front of other people. Um, there's been so many incredible moments that she's taught me how to be a role model. Um, when I was coming out of the closet for like two months, I had no idea what was going on and I didn't talk to anybody. And I'll never forget the moment where she literally dragged me upstairs in her room, shut the door, said sit on my bed, and she was like, you need to tell me what's going on. And she literally put a nail on my head and cracked me open. And I let the cat out of the bag and I had no idea how she was gonna react and I think my biggest thing I was so afraid of was um, I was afraid that the world wouldn't accept or love me. And she says the world will accept and love you as long as you love yourself. So um, just having that support system from her was absolutely incredible. Um, she is literally my everything. She is the reason I do every single step I do in my life. She's the reason why I can have passion pumped through my blood as I create. Um, I'm so excited to stand on the stage tonight and finally shine the light on her. So let's take a look. I have been training dancers for 38 years. Long time. If someone uh, is coming to my class and they've never had my class before, I like them to think about things that they have trouble getting across to their students. Um, is there a certain injury that keeps on happening? Or, you know, what is it that you keep on saying and they're not relating? What is my method to perfect um, my exercises that I develop? My students that um, I train are actually my little guinea pigs. <laughs> um, I. Uh, we'll develop something and then I watch and I look at, okay, this person's flexible, this one is not flexible, this one's turned in, and I look at all aspects of their facility and I chart it out and I watch to see which ones help which dancer. My focus for the teacher classes are transitions. 
but I'm always going to do a review on how I make dancers engage their abs and get their pelvis in a neutral position just to organize the spine because if that's not right, anything else that you do will not be correct. It's going to be a domino effect. I'm doing a lot of exercises working through the feet, making their feet stronger. I actually have a bar this year, so I am do progressions down the bar and then I'm giving them across the floor so that they can really perfect the transitions in choreography. What type of dancer inspires me? I would say the one that has the best worth ethic and the true passion for dance and it's not forced by either their teacher or their mother or father. Um, yeah, that's, that's who really inspires me. My name is CJ Tyson. I'm originally from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I started dancing at the age of 17 back in Virginia Beach with Denise Walls Dance Energy. Hey, Denise. I met Denise my senior year of high school. I was invited by one of her students to come to the studio, and I remember vividly noticing in each dancer uh, discipline, uh, technicality, passion, artistry, professionalism that I had never seen in dancers before. So one person who always seems to be there at the front clapping and cheering the loudest when you're on stage is Denise Wall. Yeah. Who is she? Denise Wall is um, my adopted mom. Mm -hmm. um, she took custody of me when I was 10 years old. My mom has my name on a towel. Having Denise in my life has brought in so much to me. And do you call Denise mom? I do. Please welcome to the stage the 2018 Dance Role Model Award winner, someone I like to call my mommy, Denise Wall. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I want to thank the Industry Awards and uh, Dancers Against Cancer. Um, I am a cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in 2010 with stage 3B breast cancer. Um, I went through seven surgeries. I went through chemotherapy. I went through radiation. And um, even at one point, I became uh, septic and I was in uh, intensive care for 10 days and almost bit the dust. Um, if I didn't have dance in my life, I wouldn't have survived it. Um, and also my children. My children made me fight for it also. Not only my own children, but my, my dance children. And I just want to say that um, when you get adversities in life and then you have failures, and I think this is what's wrong with our new society, you know, I, I feel like everybody wants everything quick. They don't want their children to fail. But I will tell you the things that I failed in business and in my personal life made me so much stronger um, because I would pick myself up. I, oh, I would have that pity party. Let me tell you what. It, and I would try to invite people to it. But <laughs> I would have that pity party. I would pick myself up, though. And that's one thing my mom taught me. There's a reason for everything. So I would get in my head and say, okay, what is this? And a lot of times it took a while to figure it out. But I would learn the lesson. And that's what helped me when I was faced with life and death. You know, it made me stronger. And it just, I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't have the adversity and learn the lesson. So I know we all go through that all the time and we have to, you know, just keep that open mind and uh, learn the lesson. The other thing I want to say, too, is um, my mom, um, and I love her dearly, but she always had a hard time with how, and I would say I'm obsessive about dance a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. You said it. Okay. But I admit it, so that's good. Um, I would work seven days a week at it, and a lot of it was because I was – basically raising five boys without child support. So, you know, I did whatever I had to do. Thank you. Thank you. I, 
did whatever I had to do to make sure that I had a roof over their head and they were fed. And I mean, sometimes it was rough because there was, I know one winter that I didn't have heat and I was putting my kids to bed with coats on and putting blankets on them. And I was, I had gas, but I didn't have uh, electric, so I didn't have warm water and I would boil water. But again, I, it made me stronger. It, it, it made me stronger. But my mom still didn't understand, you know, I just don't understand that. And I will tell you, when I was in intensive care, um, the, the doctor was trying to tell me, okay, you're going to be in the hospital for at least 10 days. And I said, okay, hmm. Well, I don't think I can do 10 days. I can probably do two. <laughs> I said, because I have to go to New York City and teach at the Dance Teacher Summit. And he goes, um... No, 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 no. You, you're sick. And I said, okay, well, then I'll stay three days. <laughs> and the doctor looks at my mother and says, what is wrong with her? And my mom goes, oh, it's called dance. It's called dance. <laughs> and he goes, okay, I'm going to be real. You are dying. And you're not leaving or you're not going to make it. And I didn't go. I tried. I kept on every day. Can I get out? <laughs> but I want to tell you, it, it, I kept on thinking during that, that hospital stay, again, about my own children and about the other kids that um, I trained, and that helped me get through it. And then also just getting, doing chemo. I would be so sick. I would get it on Friday. And then by 2 o'clock on Saturday, I couldn't even get up and go to the bathroom by myself. It was my mom and one of my boys dragging me, and my feet were dragging behind. And then finally, when someone would come from the studio and sit and visit, and I'm, I could even get my head off the pillow, but they would come and sit and start talking about dance. Well, it would take maybe 10 minutes, and all of a sudden... I would be sitting up, and I didn't even realize this until my mom said something. I would be sitting up, and then after they would leave, I'd lay back down. And my mom said to me, she said, you know what? I get it. I said, well, what do you get? She said, I finally get dance. She said, I'm watching you, that you can't get up and go to the bathroom. You can't do anything for yourself. Someone comes and sits there for 10 minutes and starts talking about dance. She said, your coloring changes. It's like someone's pumping air in you and you can sit up. She said, I finally get it. And for me, that was a great, it was great that she finally understood what dance means to me and what it means to other people. So. So again, I just want to thank the um, Industry Awards and Dancers Against Cancer. So thank you. Guys. Thank you.